Hold the door. Great. He's that guy I only have one thing in common with. Hey, Peter. How about that gay encounter we had? God, every time with this guy. I'm gonna take the stairs. Everything's wet. I'm just gonna stay here. Was Labyrinth a good movie? I can't remember. I don't want to watch it again, though. Seems like a chore. All right, even Slinky from accounting can make it up the stairs. Don't forget to turn in your time card, Peter. What are you, allergic to money? <laughs> no, no, I want to get paid. Just forgot. I haven't felt this out of shape since I took surfing lessons. All right, P-Town, wave coming in. I'm just going to give you a little push. You stand up. <laughs> Nice game, Peter. Enjoy it while it lasts. It's only a matter of time before he beats you. What are you talking about? I'm better than him at everything. You name it, sports, video games, even magic tricks. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your face. <laughs> okay, I go in store, I throw backpack, big boom. No, 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 you are big boom. Big hero. Okay, right. So I throw a backpack, come back and have big hero party with many virgins. No, 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 no. You, boom. Oh, okay, okay. I put on backpack, boom. Then I come back, big hero virgins. Okay, yeah. See you in a few minutes, big hero. Peter, isn't she beautiful? Yeah, but I think she's with that guy. They've been holding hands all night. I mean Meg. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's hot. Boy, I can't wait to lay into that recruiter. Yes, you'll be about as effective as the Wizard of Oz was at granting wishes. And Dorothy, you wanted herpes. But little did you know, you've had herpes all along. I didn't want herpes. Oh. Well, you've got... Chris, there's a lot of fun activities out there. For example, I used to be a horse whisperer. Maybe if she spent some time on the treadmill and I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't either. May I help you? Yes, 1950s doctor. Me and my friends are looking for... Your friends with a Negro and a cripple? This man is insane. Take him away. Ah! Now, wait a second. You can't do that to... A Negro speaking up to a white person? This man is insane. <laughs> now, look, I don't think... All cripples are insane. Euthanize this man. <laughs> Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. Guys, it's all set. I found Joe's dad on the internet, and he just emailed me to say he's coming tomorrow. All right, great, but remember, this is a surprise for Joe. Why are you looking at me? Because you're terrible at keeping secrets. Well, I'm not. I'm great at it. Like when I was an OBGYN. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. Well, there you are, Dad. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. Ugh, I went out of town for a little while, but I made the mistake of using this app called Bear B&B. &B. We're so happy you're staying with us. Just a reminder, we ask that you not use the DVD player, but you can watch any of the VHSs. We have Clear and Present Danger, Son of the Mask. Oh, and here's most of a puzzle. Okay, well, I don't want any of that stuff. Fine. Well, if the phone rings and we're not around, just take a message. I'm kind of on vacation. Oh, and just a heads up, the dog doesn't like men. Now, we serve breakfast from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I'll skip breakfast. Uh, everyone eats breakfast. I'm on vacation. All the more reason to treat yourself. The house specialty is a half-chewed trout we yanked out of the river with our teeth. That is the best stuff. Peter, relax. Chris is just going through a phase. He'll grow out of it. Just like you grew out of your walk-like-an-Egyptian phase. Paul was a good man. A good friend. I'll... I'll always remember how supportive he was when... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, I can't do this.
Peter, I can't believe you kept your sister a secret. She's amazing. Yeah, she's crazy strong, like Superman on a date. Yeah, I wasn't here, but I heard her scream, so I came flying in and found her like this. It's weird. Same cause of death as those three guys in that local public bathroom. Unsolvable. Look, now that this is settled, maybe you and Glenn can put this behind you. No way! How am I supposed to be friends with someone who's in love with my wife? Quagmire is dead to me and needs to be dealt with in an appropriate manner. Shame. 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 Shame, shame, shame! Shame on you! Shame, shame, shame! Shame on Q! This was serious, but it turned into something fun! Hey, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound, if you know what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. Hey, great idea bringing the couch out here from your den, Peter. Yeah, Lois and I dragged it out here last night for a little hump sesh, so I figured I'd let it dry. Couch. That's one of those words that if you say it over and over, it starts to sound silly. Joe, you need to take a class on small talk. You're not going to believe this. I'm in one. It sure is cloudy today. Good. You could have also responded to Janet, who said her son died. I'm sorry your son died on such a cloudy day. Where are you going? I'm going to Quagmire's to get some hand-me-downs. His dad mom sent over some boxes of men's clothes from back before the old chippity chappity. Ah, you shouldn't wear people's old dirty clothes. Well, I'm a dirty guy, Lois. Haven't you ever seen my naughty late-night party line commercials? Hey, are you lonely? Do you like to party with hot girls? What about horsing around with fat guys? Well, what are you waiting for? Give us a call. I'll be on the toilet wearing a t-shirt that's so long I have to hold it under my chin while I wipe. Hey, Brian, Mom took the car. Can you give me and my friends a ride to field hockey practice? Um, I'm kind of helping Stewie with an email to Delta. Please, Brian. It would get them out of the house. Well, that's true. And I gotta do something, because they're more annoying than ants at a picnic. Would you mind turning that down? And you're not supposed to be grilling. I know you can understand me. Man, look at them. They make such a cute couple. Like Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. Now what do we have? Oops. Sorry, Skippy. <gasps> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is Chris wearing a nicotine patch? You know what? It's just like I said. He and Chris go together. Like peaches and cream. Peaches. Peaches, I'm sorry. Damn it! You could have at least given me some warning, at least a, a shoulder tap. I know, you're right. It's just that you're so beautiful, I can't control myself sometimes. Aw, I can't stay mad at you. How about a kiss? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Okay, for our next exercise, let's play the oldly wed game. <laughs> Relax, it's just a questionnaire. <laughs> really? Whatever. I like liking things. Peter, when is Lois's birthday? Uh, let's see. When is Hitler's birthday? April 20th. Wow. Okay, Noel. Yikes. Joe, what is Bonnie's favorite food? Well, she must like ground glass because I keep finding it in my food. Cleveland. Pass. Quagmire, what color are Kimmy's eyes? Shaved. So, sorry, what, what, what is it? What's the question? <sighs> Cats. Kittens and cats, cat lady, lots of plastic bags, tissues in, in my sleeves, Velcro sneakers, funny dish towels, huh? Good. Come, Meg, it's time to go. Say goodbye to Meg. Who's Ned?